What's up, YouTubers? It's your boy Josh Burns from Capitalist TV. Man, hey, man, check it out. I just went to Game Time. We got a place spot down here in um, Orlando, Florida uh, called Game Time. And uh, I went out there, man. It's my birthday, Libra season. You know what I'm saying? It's my birthday coming up on the 10th. Uh, I went out there. We checked out the UFC fights, man. Yo, it was awesome, yo. We had some drinks, you know what I mean? You know, I ate some food. You know, I was chilling with hanging with the bros and stuff, you know what I mean? But uh, speaking about that fight, Cabot versus McConnell. What do you guys really think about that? Conor McGregor, man. I know he's a disappointment to most because he built a nice fan base. You know, over the times, you know, stepping in the boxing ring, going this for Nick brother to doing what he was doing in uh, MMA. But, uh, yo, he got to hand it to him, man. He got to hand it to him. I mean, the, you know, Cabot, he came out there. He came out strong, man. Or however you say his name, Cabot, or wherever you pronounce it in this country, wherever you're from. But, uh, yo, he came out hungry, man. The man was real hungry. You know what I'm saying? He wanted to eat. It's raining right now. I don't know how it sounds on my mic, but uh, man, it's Florida weather, man. We got two storms everywhere, but um, yeah, he came out hungry. And uh, woo, so rain, man. Have to hold out on this one. All right, look, it just stopped. That is barely sprinkling now. That's Florida for you, but uh, yo. Okay, it just stopped. Got to start it again. Yep. Yeah. Man. That's bad food on this one. But there's some sunlight coming, so it's going to start raining in just a couple minutes as soon as I get past this little intersection. Yo, but, um, whatever. Yo, the guy, Cabot, came out strong and hungry. Y'all got to understand that the man was 26 and 0 already. You know, the votes was in his favor that he was going to win. Um, you know, he's been talked about by uh, Conor McGregor, you know, bad about his country, you know, his religion or whatever in case be his family. I mean, that's, that's issues right there. But, um, that's really bad issue. Trying to get over this hump. And like I said, it starts to clear up and no more rain and whatever. But uh, like I say, man, Cabot, yo, that's kind of messed up what Conor McGregor was doing. I don't think he was keeping it professional, but we know how Conor McGregor gets uh, with his trash talking um, and trying to get in people's heads, you know, and do what he does. But, um, yo, he got to hand it to him. He got what he was asking for. The young dude came in there hungry, dog, 26 and 0. Like, you're not going to take nothing from me. You know what I'm saying? He went in there, he stumped on him. Yo, he got him at the end in a rear naked choke, man. And Connor, he tucked his chin down, you know. He tried to protect himself at it at the beginning, but um Oh, Carl almost hit me. But um he tried to protect himself at the beginning, but he couldn't just hold off, man. The guy, it's once it's, it's easy for a fighter to if you get him in a rear naked check hold, choke hold, if you got him in that position, all you gotta do is sniff his nose up. And his head gonna lift right up. You slip that thing up in him, and it's over with. He's gonna tap out, man. He got no choice. You can't get out of that situation, man. It's very hard. It's very difficult. Uh, especially if you know how to lock and grip your hands up and stuff like that. So, uh, but man, he deserved it, man. I think he wanted it. The young dude was hungry, man. He came out aggressive. He was ready. He was, you know, he just non-stop. Non-stop. I really thought he was gonna gas himself at the, at the beginning, but the man, you can tell he's been practicing a few extra rounds, you know what I mean? A few extra rounds before it was fight night. He had to. He had enough energy, he had enough strength, he had enough power, he had enough, you know, he had enough dog in him. I like that. I love underdogs, man. Y'all gotta appreciate the underdogs who's coming from the top. You know what I'm saying? Feel bad for Conor McGregor, man. If Floyd Money Mayweather got his money on him, he in trouble. He in trouble, man, because a lot of people lost some money over this fight, but hey, man. It was in his favor, so he deserved it, man. I think the man did a great, great outstanding job on fighting and stuff like that. It was very exciting to watch. You know what I'm saying? It was, it was really dope, man. So I enjoyed that. What I really think about 
the whole deal of Cabot and his crew or whatever happened like after the brawl, after the fight. Yo, I don't think that was like very professional. I think that was that was a little bit too much because Cabot, you already know you won, man. I mean, there's no point, you know, for them to go out there and, and jump out the octagon and jump on and start fighting somebody else. I understand that you started talking about your family and all that extra stuff, but, I mean, you showed it in the ring, big dog. Ain't no need for all that extra stuff. Go on, you know what I'm saying, take your championship belt or whatever y'all call it, you know what I mean? Take your belt and get up out of there. Collect that cash and get up out of there, you feel me? Ain't no sense of you going out there and starting all that mess because, look, now you, you're losing sponsorships. You know, people might not like that. You know what I'm saying? People might not like that. That you, you know, you probably already sponsored. I'm sure you're 20, 26 and 0. I don't know all that background information, but uh, just you know, my thoughts on that, man. Just keep it professional, dog. And and, and and you just you just gotta be real, man. At that point, man, you can't just let <clears throat> know all that mess. You held it down. You held it down for your country now, for real. You held it down, but um, yo, man, y'all y'all just gotta keep it professional at that point. You know what I mean? So, uh, great job, man, on the win and all that, man. But, uh, hey, it is what it is, though. You did your thing, man. If that's what you had to do, that's what you felt like you needed to do, hey, man, so be it, man, for real. But, you know, Libra Gang, stand up. We here, baby. You know what I'm saying? My birthday coming down on the 10th. Let's go. You already know. Um, I got some more stuff I'm doing, man. Keep you guys updated day by day to see what, what's going on, man. So, uh, it's your boy Josh Burns from Capless. TV, man. This is what you're watching. Hey, y'all stay tuned, man. It's going to be a great channel. I keep telling y'all that, man. I'm still working on it. I'm still going to keep pushing it. Whatever, man. I got anything y'all want to say, man. Drop it down in the comments. Let me know what you uh, think about the fight, the UFC fight. Let me know what your thoughts is, man. All right, man. I'm out of here.